Mother's Day to all of our mothers. I give honor again to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I give honor to my Father in the ministry, David Hart. Jesus 
just took the Lord. And when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples. And the disciples to them that were set down. And likewise, with the fish, as much as they would, were set down. When they were filled, he said unto his disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost. Mm. Just for your consideration on this Sunday of Mother's Day, you have to put it in the right hand. Yeah. All right. All right. Most mothers, when we're in trouble, we can go to our mother or grandmother. Thing. They'll direct us and put us in God's hand. Our Father in heaven, we give you glory, we give you praise, we thank you for this opportunity, we thank you for the shepherd of this house, we ask that you would bless his family, his flock. God asks you to help me as I attempt to help others. When it's over, you be glorified. In Jesus' name. Amen. You have to put it in the right hands. This, 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 this woman, she was having a big garage sale. You know, people from all over came to this garage sale. And she had some expensive things, but there, there were three items that was just, you know, basic things. Uh -huh. The first item she had, it was a, a basketball. Mm -hmm. And she said to, us, to herself, if, if, if I sell this basketball, I probably can get $10. Mm. Well, yeah. <laughs> but if I put this basketball in LeBron James' hand, well, <laughs> if I put it in Michael Jordan's hand, the same basketball that was going for ten dollars right. would go for five. Yeah. There was a, a set of golf clubs. My Lord, she didn't play golf. She she said in her mind, I probably can get twenty dollars for these golf clubs. But if I put those golf clubs in Tiger Woods' hand. The price will go up. Yes, the last item she had. And it was just an old book. She said, I probably can get this book away. I won't sell it. I, I will try to put it in the hands of some mother. All right. Because I know if I put it in the right mother hand, right. she'll teach the church. Yes. All right. All right. What does right. said the Lord. All right. Sometimes in life, church, our, our, our lives, they, they get twisted and they, they, they be all over the place. Yes. But if we will put our lives in God's hands. All right. They will turn out to be what God has called us to be. All right. Yes. Putting things in the right perspective, it takes time sometimes. Yes. I know mothers, they, they, they pray for their children, and, and sometimes we, we go astray. Yes. Yes, sir. But a true mother, a real mother, she, she will never give up on no, no. That's right. her children. That's right. Now, us daddies, we, we are totally different. All right. All right. All right. I, I, I'm so many no pay. Just today on Mother's Day, my grand hey, grandmama, happy Mother's Day. Now, when, when Father's Day come, you, you almost got to beat it out of us. <laughs> <laughs> but Mother's Day deserve a lot of love. Yeah. I, 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 I remember calling this story of this. The, the daddy didn't want this boy in. Once you get a certain age, you know, men, they... they they want us to go out and become men. Yeah. And the, the young man, he, he was struggling with some things, and daddy said, hey, we're going to lock him out. He, he can't sleep here. All right. But I had an old grandmother, and she cared. I don't care where her kid is. Mother still loves her kid. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Daddy would go and lock the back door. <laughs> A couple of hours later, mama would get up like she had to go to the restroom. Right. And unlock You gotta wake up for daddy. <laughs> well, that's the kind of love a mother has for her children. Amen. No mother likes to see their children.
going astray. But sometimes going astray is the best thing for us. That's right. Because when we get down to our lowest, that's uh, right. That's when we can really see God hand move. I, 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 I talked to Wendell or something all the time, and Dale, he, he said something that he said, "Man, I really didn't grow up until my father died." Mm. Okay. My Lord. He said, as sad as it is, he said, I didn't even grow up until I lost uh, my dad. Mm. He said, because if, if, if my dad had been still living, he said, man, I'd have been still doing. He said, my mama was tough. But now I realize that she loves me. All right. All right. So that, 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 that mother love is so pure and so, yeah. so good that. Yeah. Yeah. Someone said that God can't be everywhere. That's why he created mothers. <laughs> the heart of a mother is, is pure as, as gold. So we have to put our, our lives in God's hands. He made us and he knows all about us. In the text today, and you're familiar with the text, it, it, it talks about how Jesus was teaching and everywhere he went, there was a great crowd, a multitude of people that followed him. Yeah. And one of them said, hey, Lord, you, you can't teach people on the empty stomach. <laughs> it, it, it's so true that, 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 you know, before you go out to witness, somebody's going to ask you to give me something to eat. If you feed me, I'll listen to you. That's why the school system tries to give you food before you can learn. So, so they, all, all these people, we don't have enough money to feed them. Jesus replied, send them down into the 50s. And I think it was Simon, one of the disciples, spotted a lad that had two fish and five loaves of bread. It was only two fish and five loaves with this young lad. But when he put it in the master's hand, yeah. all right. All right. that same little lunch was able to feed everybody in the head. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes life is not going the way we would love it to go, but when we put it in God's hand. Young man was, was talking and he goes to his grandmother and he said, Grandmother, I have this problem. And grandmama said, Hey, baby, let's pray about it. And you know, when we're out of Christ, we, we want God to answer right away. Oh, God, God, oh, I need this. And before we get through praying, we, we want the results to be right there. So weeks went by, weeks went by, and there was no answer. And grandma, you, you, you told me if I, if I give it to the Lord, he, 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 he'll help this situation. And grandma began to say something that they wrote years ago. She said, baby, you can't hurry God. See, that's the wisdom of a mother and a grandma. You, you just got to wait. He may not come when you want. But he's going to be on time. That's the wisdom that, that our mothers and our grandmothers teach us that, that sometimes we have to wait on God. And a lot of times waiting on God don't feel good. But it's the best thing for you. Because scripture teaches that they that wait on the Lord. Church, he may not come when you want him. Well. But he's going to be on time. Yes. In life, we have to put our lives in God's hands. Yes. Yes. And once we put them in his hands, things work out. Yes. I look at my 
on a spiral to hell. Hey, All right. And, 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 and somebody said, boy, you, you better change your way. Right. I was doing some things that were not godly, that, were, that wasn't even right to be doing, but, 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 but somebody was praying for me. Everywhere, anybody. 
Nobody could have touched it. All right. Jesus said, no, it was a different touch. Yeah. It was a touch of faith, church. Yes. And if you come today with faith and reach out and touch him, just like he changed that woman's life, yeah. all right. he'll do the same for you today. Yeah. All you have to do is reach out yeah. in faith and touch him. Yes. And when he asked who touched him, the lady couldn't hide anymore. All right. She faced up into him and said, Lord, it was I that touched you. Yeah. And Jesus said, that faith has made thee whole. For 12 long years, she walked around, Brother Bruce, with an illness yeah. that no one could cure. All right. And a lot of us in here today are walking around with stuff that can't nobody cure but Jesus. All right. All right. We walk around and we say, it'll get better, it'll, it'll get better. And the truth of the matter, it only gets worse. All right. There's some things that happen to you, can't no doctor, can't no grandma, can't nobody fix but God. All right. All right. So you ever said to yourself, I'm sick and tired? Of being sick and tired. Right. And she made up in her mind that I'm tired today. Um, I'm going to put this life, I'm going to put this body back in the hands that made it. Yes. Yes. And she reached out and she touched him. Right. And something went out of Jesus. Right. It wasn't just the ordinary bump or the ordinary touch. You know that that's that's that what really gets God's attention, church. You can come to church every Sunday. You can be here, and you can get the uh, attendance award for the whole year. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they give you in school for not missing. <laughs> Perfect attendance. Right. But if you don't have faith, right. you ain't pleasing God. All right. It's all right. It's all right. But if y'all, you just trying to do is say, hey, I go to church every Sunday. <laughs> what does that do? <laughs> Jesus. I ain't never missed a Sunday. <laughs> I don't want to miss, but sometimes I miss. <laughs> when I'm traveling, when I'm traveling, all the time, but hey, my faith. Yes, all right. And that's what God, that's what gets God's attention. Yeah. Your faith. That's right. So it was her faith, church, yes. that had him say, someone touched me. Yes. And once she touched him, oh my God. she couldn't hide anymore. That's right. Couldn't hide. Mm -hmm. And once you're touched by God, mm -hmm. once you put your life in the right hand. Because right. I remember when I used to go to church, I used to sit way back right there with Dudley. <laughs> <laughs> And I hope brother that old witness wouldn't call. <laughs> and he'll call me there. And I'm in college, there ain't no Bible verse. <laughs> you know, you, you recite your verb. <laughs> I ain't know no Bible verse. Alright. Grown <laughs> man, Bruce, in college didn't know a Bible verse. Right. Mm. Mama just used to send it, that ain't. That ain't costing you when you got home. <laughs> what you learned today? <laughs> that son school in the church couldn't quote, Sister Earl couldn't quote a Bible verse. 20 years old. Somebody prayed for it. That's all right. I know a couple now. I know a couple Bible verses now. All right. See, that, that's what prayer will do. Yeah. You keep praying. Don't give up on them. That's right. I told them how they, they, they piling in here. And sometimes we be looking, pray to God, these young folk, and they have fun and tattoos, shop pants. Hey, man, God wants the soul. Yeah. Amen. Why you can't come? What? And that's what I like in your folks.
folks come to hand. They keep coming every Sunday. Right. 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 Some of them catch it. Right. Right. As they come out here, come out here. Right. You don't know, discourage them out coming. Yes. Hey, right. hey, we ain't always want to sue for church. All right. See, I, hey, when I first got saved, I had one jacket. Right. Bruce, he went with everything. <laughs> well, man, my, my soul was thirsty. All right. See, when, 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 when you try to see and please, God, man, I ain't care what I had. I, I had jeans, I dressed up, put that blue double dress on. And no, I know I said, boy, that's all on jacket got. Yes, that's all on that jacket. <laughs> but when I say, Johnson, you want to testify? Yes, sir. All right. Yes. So we have to. That's right. Don't even know we have to encourage young folks. Yeah. Can't beat them up and. That's right. We get on them for the stuff we used to do. Amen. All right. Oh. Well, we try to teach you, but you know. Amen. And you know, if people came in with a lot of tattoos, you'd be like, ugh. And if you got one, you the same as them. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So, so what I'm saying, you have to put your life in the right hand. Amen. And then the only hand to put it in is Jesus. That's right. But we, we go through different things and we, you know, try this and we try that. And a lot of times we see it don't work and it fails us. And thank be to God that he stands there. Open up. All right. Amen. He will receive you. We mess up and do this, and God will receive us back. Yes, He will. So, it was only two fish and five loaves when it was in the little boy hand. All right. Mm -hmm. But it, when He put it in the master's hand, my Lord, oh, yeah. it became a meal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the whole community. Yes. Oh, yes. Put your life in. God's hand. Yeah. Jesus, he came down through 42 generations. Well, he gave sight to the blind. Well, he healed the sick. Yes. And he raised the dead. Yes. He done all manner of good and the people still shouted crucified. Yes. So they led him up Calvary's mountain. Well, the Bible said they, they whipped him, they, they spit on him. Yeah. They beat him all night long. Well, yes. Pierced him in the side until blood yes. cast out like water. Yeah. Yes. They hung him high yeah. and they stretched him wide. Yeah. Well, he hung his head for me and he died. Yeah. Yes. Church, he died, church. Yes. He died, church, he died.
closer to you. Yes. Yes. To the master. Yes. Yes. Sometimes God has to tear us down just to build us up. Sometimes you have to strip his naked just to close. Yes. But whatever you have to do to get you where you need to be. You need to put it in his hand. Yes. Yes. I've tried a lot of things in life. Yes. And most of them didn't work. Yes. But when I tried Jesus, yes. yes. right. happy is me, old child. Yes. So today I ask you to try Jesus. He's all right, church. Would you put your life in the master's hand today? And he'll make everything all right. Thank you. 